Today's lab is postfix. This is the example on the paper, the postfix eval. The left side column is infix, like a regular expression. So we call that as infix expression. Then we are going to convert to the postfix expression. Infix means operator is in, so between two operands. Postfix means operator is at post after two operands. So you are going to think about how it's going to be calculated first. So if you need to calculate 3 plus 4 first, you have to say 3, 4 plus first. Then to this result, you are going to multiply 5. So 5 then multiply. To understand visually, you can also draw the expression tree. Expression tree is always root is operator, then leaf node. Leaf node means which has no child is operand. So when I draw 3 plus 4 expression tree, I can draw root is operator, then two operands are 3 and 4. That means this is 3 plus 4. When I read infix, I read left, root, right. When I read as a postfix, left, right, and root. So in fix, this is 3 plus 4. In postfix, this is 3, 4 plus. If I want to draw the second one as a tree, expression tree, 3 plus 4 first times 5. So times will be the last calculation between left and right. So times is the root, then 3 plus 4 is the left, then 5 is the right. That means left is another tree, 3 plus 4. So I can draw plus with 3 and 4. So left child has a subtree, plus 3, 3 plus 4. Then right child is 5. You can see all the operands are leaf node, has no child. Plus operator is root of the 3 and 4. When I read this one as an infix, left subtree first, then root, then right. That's why 3 plus 4, then times 5. When I read this one as the postfix, left subtree first as the postfix. So in the left subtree, I read like this, left to right up. So in the postfix, 3, 4, plus, then right, that is 5, then times. When I want to draw the last one in the expression tree, 3 times 4 plus 5 times 6. All thing 3, 4, 5 are in the left subtree, then times 6. So times is the root, then I know right child of the times is 6. Then in the left subtree, when I see in the left subtree here, I probably need to do 3 times 4 first, that is the left, then plus 5, so 5 is the right. So when I draw here, plus is the root, 5 is the only one right, and 3 times 4 will be left subtree. When I get the post postfix from the, this tree, the whole left subtree first, but inside of this whole left subtree, left subtree first. Then in the, this left subtree, 3, 4 times first. So 3, 4 times. You can also just directly convert from expression. So it 3 times 4 becomes 3, 4 times. Now you are going to think about this one as one set. Then plus 5, that means we're going to go right first, so 5 and plus, 5 plus, so whole thing plus 5, so if you convert this one, 3, 4 times the whole thing, then write 5, then plus, then times 6, ah, uh, 6 then times, so go to the right first, then times, 
When you convert the index to the post fix left and right, the keeping the order is very important. I can say 3 is left, then 4 times 5 is right. So we think about that left, right. Post fix is always left, right, and up, or left to right operator. So remember that order. So left to first. So three will be written first, and right will be four or five times. Then up operator will be plus. In the next one, left is three times four, and right is five times six. So left to first, three, four times, right is five or six times plus. How about the next one? What should be left? Which multiplication will be done at last, the first one or second one? If they have the same order, left to right, yes, yeah, second one is the last operator you are going to evaluate. That means left is up to 4 plus 5 is whole left. Then right is only 6. Now, inside of the left, there's another left and right. 3 is left, 4, 5 plus is the right. So I can write here 3, 4, 5 plus times. So now I'm just done the purple left. Then 6 is right and times. This is the postfix. Now we are going to use those postfix. Then our lab is, this one is understanding what is postfix. Then, what we are supposed to do is evaluate postfix. That's only what we are going to do. When computer evaluate <clears throat> postfix, you can use a stack. So for the first one, I'm going to make a stack. Then, when I go through the postfix, if it's a number, I'm going to push into the stack. Three. The next one is a number. So push into the stack. Next one is operator. If it's operator, I'm going to pop two operands from the stack, four and three, then calculate three plus four, then the result push into the stack. So I'm done up to plus. Then keep going with the postfix expression. If I get number, push into the stack. Now, if I get operator, pop two numbers, 7 and 5 now, then times, because operator is times, then get the value, then push back into the stack. At the end of the expression in the stack, I'm going to have only one number, that is the result. I can do the second last one too, one more time. Make a stack. First one is a number, push. Second one is a number, push. Third one is a number push. Then fourth one is operator. So pop two of them. So four and five are popped. Then add them. The result will be pushed back. So push. Then next one is operator times. So pop two numbers from the stack of current one, nine and three. So three and nine are popped. And operator is times, so result is 27, will be pushed back into the stack. Now, next one is number 6. Then the next one is operator. So pop two numbers, 6 and 27, 162. Then push back into the stack. At the end, there's only one number. This one is popped, that is the result, 162. Let's see if this is correct. If I evaluate the infix one, three times nine times six. This one is 27 times six, all oh, same thing, so 162. So what you're going to do in this lab is implement this part, the making a step, and find the final result of the postfix expression. So postfix will be given. Then you are going to use some helper method. 
So eval, this eval function will get the string that means the whole postfix expression. So for example, I can say three space four space five space times space plus as a string, it will be given. And if you look at the shell code, this one is already split and stored into the array list. If you see it in the shell, this part is already given by splitting space, make an array, and pass it into the array list. So now this array list, the post fix part, will have all the tokens. Then there is an eval function and is operator function. They are helper method. So you're going to go through all of those tokens. So far, if I use uh, this one, array list has those things. Then you are going to go through the array list. Then you need a stack. And if you look at the shell code, return type is a double. So you probably want to make the stack with a double type. Then you are going to go through in the loop each part. Now there are two cases. One is if the part is operator. So you can use each operator method by passing the part to there. If the part is operator, you are going to pop and store into the B because you are going to store A first, then B is on the top. So you are going to read B first. Then you are going to get A. Then you are going to use the operator and calculate. But when you calculate, you can just call eval function. So into the eval function, you are going to pass A and B. So you get that the order is switched, then operator. Depends on what operator is. So if operator is a plus, add them. If operator is a minus, subtract them. What else do you need is multiplication, division, module, and power. For the power, you can simply use a master power. Master power needs two things, base, comma, exponent. Then there is a special case. If you look at the shell code, there is a factorial. One problem of the factorial is factorial get only one number. So if the Operator is a factorial, you are going to pop only one number. So special case. That means I probably will not put the exclamation hmm, it's in the operator. So I can write in the between. After I read B, if it's factorial, you can do a special thing. That means you do not read A then a to e bell will be else case. The special means in my code, I actually made a helper method, which is a factorial. Is that done? Actually, it's not. After you get the value calculation, you have to push back the result. Then you are done the first if. Then the second one you're supposed to do is else case. That means if it's a number, else. That means it's a number. In that case, actually, this is still string type. So you have to convert into this is numerical string into double type. So you are going to uh, push that number into the stack by converting double dot parse double. Then you are going to pass the part, the string. Then at the end, after you are done the for loop, so one and two are inside of the for loop. After you are done, you are going to return the final result. Final result is just stored into the stack. This is the first eval method. The paper is a correct double type output but the shell code does not have a correct double type output. Output should be double type. At the beginning in the main method, you have to add all of the expressions there. 